Hi, this is me, just an ordinary 18-year-old kid from Canfield, Ohio, born into an extraordinary family. My name is Braxton, and this is my little brother Evan. Evan is a soccer player, a swimmer, a bubble blower, and a child with high-functioning autism. At a young age, Evan was diagnosed with ADHD, Asperger's, and learning disabilities. As a result, my brother has struggled with social interactions, academics, and behavioral issues. Growing up with Evan has caused many challenges in my life, as his outbursts, behavioral issues, and excessive energy have often caused me to live in a very chaotic household. It has been very difficult because Evan is an awesome person and his autism is sometimes an obstacle as I try to be a friend and a fun older brother. But far outweighing the challenges, having Evan as a brother has been one of my greatest gifts and he has taught me to be patient, understanding, and to stand up for others. I know that in a big group setting, it might not be the cool thing to do to walk over to the kids sitting alone and talk to them. But the things I've learned from Evan and seeing people smile and feel comfortable far outweighs the social awkwardness of seeing people give me weird looks as I talk to the secretly amazing person hiding in the corner that everyone struggles to understand but is full of valuable insights, perspectives, and often priceless jokes. This is my brother Jesse. Jesse is 23 years old and has IDIC 15, a rare chromosomal anomaly that has resulted in nonverbal autism and a seizure disorder. While well, having Jesse as a brother has been very difficult because of the time and attention he requires from my parents, that often has resulted in my parents not being able to attend sporting events or school events or be there for me in other parts of my life. Despite this, the greatest challenge has been living with a brother of such fragile health. Growing up in the summers, I spent hours hanging out with Jesse, jumping on the trampoline, riding in a trailer attached to an old lawnmower, and going for walks. But as I grew older, I watched as Jesse's health declined, as his seizures worsened, and we were no longer able to share in our favorite activities together. Although this was emotionally draining for me as a child, the joy and laughter that Jesse brought me was far greater. Seeing Jesse smile, walk with his service dog, ride his horse, or just sitting with him and watching movies have all brought so much joy to my life. And while having brothers with autism has been difficult at times, the challenges I faced pale in comparison to the challenges my brothers face every day. Watching both Jesse and Evan overcome their obstacles has motivated me to work hard and to use my gifts to my full potential. Without my brothers, I would not be the motivated, kind, and understanding person I am today.